Greater Susquehanna Valley United Way is focused on making measurable differences. Once upon a time, United Way was just a fundraiser. Now it's so much more. Hi, I'm Justin. And I'm Kyle. We support United Way because we know that donations go to places that need it the most and are truly helping people. As charitable donors, we have a lot of options. But United Way is unique. It's focused on regional solutions to major problems in our communities. Your nephew who dropped out of school, the single mother living in poverty, your alcoholic coworker, their problems do affect us all. We were all kids once, and those that do really well in life have been loved and have been given boundaries. When this doesn't happen, a kid's life can fall apart. A teen at risk not only causes heartache, but is a cost to society for corrective action, or perhaps even jail. There are programs that can interrupt this cycle of chaos in a child's life and to help set them on the right path. It all started when I was like four or five that my dad started to become angry and take it all out on me. The worst thing that my dad said to me when I was going through all this was he told me to go to hell. And it was on my birthday and I had family up and I just stayed in the bathroom and cried pretty much the whole night. CASA stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates. I had meetings with my CASA person and I'd tell her what was going on and how I felt about all of that and then she'd speak about it in court for me. In court, my CASA would go into the courtroom and I would sit outside and she'd basically talk for me and then in the times where I would have to go in and talk to the judge myself, she would always be present and then she would just give me more courage to tell them the truth and everything that was going on. I'm very grateful for the CASA program because without it, I probably wouldn't be where I am now. Some stay on the wrong path because they don't get the help they really need. Over 80% of inmates are in our jails due to an addiction or crime related to drugs or alcohol. When helped, these people can be productive members of society. Left alone, they are likely to live lonely, destructive lives, creating havoc in their families, and again, costing our communities more than just money. I grew up drinking because it was accepted. It destroyed me. I had no relationship with my wife at the time. It was my ex-wife now because of my drinking. I had three DUIs. After I woke up in prison, uh, I knew I was done. After about a week or two, I started to think about it. I thought, you know, this is, that's it, this is enough. My great-grandfather, my grandfather, my father were all alcoholics. My little brother was an alcoholic. He was killed leaving the same bar I left. The DUI court was not what I expected, but uh, they were teaching me uh, how to be a better person. The treatment court gave me a lot of confidence, a lot of hope. I'm alive. My daughter's here. I enjoy life now. We need more programs that get people clean and sober for the long term, because changing bad habits takes a long time. People struggling with addiction need strict and professional support until they're able to make better choices on their own. I was a pediatric nurse specialist. I had used mainly prescription medication, pain medication, when I got arrested, I, I really knew that this had to be it or else I was going to die. Um, I ended up going to jail until my case was gone through by the courts and I was accepted in the drug court program. Drug court is like almost like a rebirth process. A lot of people learn how to relive their lives the, the proper way. Today, um, after a lot of hard work, I have a job, a full-time job. I am active in my community. I spend a lot of time with my son. If I'm not working, um, we are basically inseparable. Love you. Instead of judging others regarding addiction, let's find solutions to help these addicts help themselves. Their lives and the lives of others close to them are hanging in the balance. When we're not accepted by others for who we are, most of us can agree it's truly hurtful. Nobody wants to be judged. Our area may not look diverse, but we are. We have differences in faith, cultural background, sexual orientation, developmental abilities, age, and gender. We're all different, 
but to focus on those differences in a negative way is divisive. In the extreme, a lack of tolerance for people who are different can have devastating consequences. Brandon was a distinguished honor roll student, um, never missed school. He basically loved life, he loved his music, he loved his violin, he was, he was very talented. November 2010, Brandon left the house and he walked seven miles to Routes 11 to 15 and he stepped out in front of a tractor trailer and ended his life. He did leave behind a three-page suicide note and in the note he expressed that for the past five years he had been harassed. Brandon was harassed on a daily basis because Brandon was different and people couldn't accept the fact that he was different and I think it just drove Brandon to the point that he just couldn't handle it anymore. I think it's up to the parents, the adults, to teach acceptance. It starts with us at home. I'm really hoping that through Brandon's death that we can get his story out and that kids will come forward if they're feeling the way that Brandon did and seek help. Acceptance towards all people is such a simple concept, but it's profoundly important if we're going to work together to move our communities forward. Your United Way donation supports programs that are focused on six issues that our communities have identified as the most pressing. And this is not easy work. It takes long-term focus and investment in programs producing positive outcomes. If we're going to make a better life for ourselves, we have to do what we can to make a better life for others. And, and this, this is, is what, what it means to live united. united.